our community continue to thrive, continue to be resilient. We have gone through a lot in the last several years. Fires, the pandemic, it has taken a toll in the community in terms of feeling safe, in terms of being healthy. There are issues of mental health that are happening. We are able to address some of those issues, right, to, by providing the appropriate services to the community. My role in the Intersections Initiative is one of the collaborating partners from Napa County, um, a member of the Community Leaders Coalition, founded in 2016 after the elections. And it was in response to um, anxiety and worry about what was going to be happening here locally and as a result of a lot of the federal policies that we thought were going to be coming down. So a group of uh, cross-sector organizations and individuals got together to really start to think about how we might elevate the voices of those who are not often invited to the table and who would uh, be impacted by those policies. The Community Partnership Fund uh, allowed us the opportunity to really build the infrastructure for the coalition in a way that uh, was most impactful and that was sustainable. CLC's uh, priorities change depending on the trends happening within the community. Uh, most recently, there was a, a big push in making sure that uh, the vote got out uh, for the last election in 2022. Um, but the CLC has also been involved in efforts that impact families, that impact education in Napa, that impact housing, uh, and other social net services that uh, can benefit the most vulnerable members of our community. There was a lot of advocacy that needed to happen in order for us to provide input on what the needs of the community were, right? So there were several things that we advocated for. The first one was um, the language access, information about um, you know, elections and whatnot were in English. We decided that it was time for us to start thinking about, okay, we need the information in both English and Spanish. And to use language that it was easier to understand by our community. In 2020, we had leaders from the CLC and our agency involved in getting a, an eviction moratorium passed in Napa for those affected by the pandemic who could not pay rent. Um, and that was successful only because of complete community engagement from nonprofits down to residents themselves and all the way up to the Board of Supervisors in the County of Napa. But that also included city council members from each of the five large cities in Napa. Uh, as well as other local uh, elected officials that were either stakeholders or were there to support the initiative. Um, and ultimately that resulted in a successful implementation of an eviction moratorium that preceded the state's moratorium later on in the year in 2020. We as healthcare providers, as hospitals, need to see our nonprofit community partners as part of the continuum of care. It's our nonprofit community partners that are the safety net for those who experience the most disparities in our communities. What excites me the most about the future is the, found, the foundation that continues to be laid in terms of forming a really tight safety net around all services for Napa County residents, especially the ones that, that need it most. So we see that in housing, but not just in housing in terms of what our agency does, but in terms of the community support that we receive from partners and from local elected officials as well. And that goes for work in any other area, be the education, immigrant services, uh, and, and civic engagement. The folks that I'm involved with on the Community Leaders Coalition, I trust implicitly and know that if I need something, I can go to them and they can come to me. And it's just really rewarding to know that together we're making a, an impact in our community. Mm -hmm.